guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. I love all things beauty, all things makeup. If you are into that kind of thing, I think you would really enjoy my content. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around for all my future content. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing and demoing a few things from MAC's holiday collection. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter trio, their lip gloss, a lipstick, and the new Glow Duo. So if you are interested in seeing how these products perform and what they look like, swatches, then just stay tuned. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get right in. The first thing that I know people probably wanna see is the eyeshadow palette. This thing is as big as my head. Um, this is the packaging here. This retails for $75. When you open it up, if you wanted to give this as a gift, it's got a little to and from, and then it shows the actual palette on um, the package itself. Now, this is the palette here. It is a plastic packaging. Um, this is really cool. It's got this little, little spinner on there. Um, but you open this up, it's got a nice mirror. This does flip all the way back, and then you have got all of your shades here. It has got 25 different shades. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some swatches. All right, there's some there. All right, here's the next set of colors. I freaking love this little blue arrangement here. And then that purple is so pretty. All right, here is the next row. Love that shade, these nice darks. And then this green. What? All right, and then this is the last row. Of course, this is more of your neutrals. This, I feel like, could even be used as a face highlighter. That's what I have on my inner corners. I've got on a good bit of these colors. Actually, I've got on all three of these over here. And then this is the color in the center, and that is more of like a topper type of a shade. All right, next up, we have the highlighter trio. This retails for $39.50. This is the packaging here. And it is that like scratchy type of <laughs> type of a package. Um, I really like that. I think it's kind of cool. You've got a mirror in there, and then you've got your three extra dimension skin finish highlighters. These are all three new shades. So you have got you've got a lavender with pearl, you've got a soft gold with a peachy pink pearl, and then you've got a light gold with a pink pearl is how they are described. And you can see those are embossed and like raised as well. There is that one. That is such a brightening highlighter. This one just, it's okay. That's definitely like a lit from within highlighter. I mean, you can tell, you can barely even see I have anything on. But when the light hits it, it does, it does catch the light. And then your more gold, that would be more of like a body highlighter for me by mixing these two or an eyeshadow but yeah there are those shades there my the purple lavender one would actually be my favorite out of that little trio all right next up we have got the glow duo this retails for 38 dollars. it is two highlighters that have a cream like glow so this is the color here i have this on my cheeks and it looks dark, but you can tell that it actually works out. It just gives you like a golden glow. If you did like a bronzy look, just bronze eyes, like an orangey type of blush, really a lot of bronzer on the cheeks. I think this would look so pretty. And then last up, I picked up one of the lip glasses and one of the lipsticks. We'll start with the lipstick. This is in... For my next trick, this is a matte lipstick. Mine came a little bit damaged, as you can see. Um, but this is that shade there. Just a nice pink. Obviously, I have this on. And then for the lip glass, I got Frantic Romantic because I just, I loved the reflex in this. MAC lip glosses stick around for a long, long time if you're not familiar with their formula. And I'll give you a swatch, but really, 
it's not going to show too much. You can see those reflex in there though. But I do have that like on the center of my lips. So of course they did have a few other options. I think they had like four or five in total of each of these. Um, but this is just the one that caught my eye that I wanted to pick up and try that I thought I would use all the time. A lot of them were more deeper colors just because it is like fall winter. Um, so I picked a shade that I thought I would get the most use out of. So that is everything that I picked up in this collection. Let's go ahead and try these items out. Okay guys, we are going to go ahead and get right into it. So I've got on my skincare, I've got on my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prep my eyelids, and now we can go into this palette. How freaking cool, right? It comes with a big mirror in here. The palette will flip all the way around, which I very much enjoy. And here is the color story. I think today, I of course would love to go in with this purple or like this like bluish shade, even this green. Those are all colors I would love to go into. However, I feel like I've been doing a lot of looks like that. So this super shimmery shade here, that is what I'm going to use as like the star of the show. You know what I mean? So, I do love all of these neutral shades that are in this palette, like all of these browns and like um, these like mauve colors. I think that those are awesome for doing crease work. And today, I think I'm going to use like this little row right here. I'm going to start with my crease brush and I'm just going to go into this shade right here. And just like our normal videos, I will do one eye on camera and then I'll catch up the other eye off. Now, I still love MAC shadows. They overall just perform pretty, pretty dang well for me. Um, <clears throat> I do think that there are brands that have you know, better options out there these days as far as just like formulation. Ones that are more pigmented, um, the ones that come to mind. I love the KKW Beauty um, formula. I really, really do. I also love Huda Beauty. Um, I love Lunar Beauties. I love Jeffree Star's formula. Um, Nabla bomb um but yeah I mean there is just something there's just something to be said about MAC honestly their colors are so timeless and I love that you can go to a MAC counter and you can literally get any color eyeshadow that you want you can get any color liner any color lipstick they have got so the variety is so much that you can you can really find exactly what you're looking for and I don't know I definitely think it is like an artistry brand like it is for you know everyday consumers but artists as well all right so I'm going to take just a little flat brush now and with this I'm going to go into this darker brown here There is not a lot of kick up on these shadows either, which I like. Now, as far as swatches for MAC formula, a lot of the times they don't really swatch the best, but whenever you're actually applying them, these shadows work so good, which is, you know, the important part is how they actually work on your eye. But yeah, anyway, long story short, I still love MAC eyeshadows. <laughs> okay, so now I think I'm gonna go in, like I said, with this like shiny color and it actually is more pink than I was expecting. So this is that color here. 
and I'm just kind of pressing this like a press and pull Okay, and then I'm going to go in with like a little flat, fluffy brush. This is Jeffree Star and Morphe Collection. This is the JS6, but I love this brush specifically for, I'm going into that crease shade. I'm looking down into a mirror and right at that crease, I'm brushing that crease shade through just because you saw how there were like little glitter flecks in the crease before I did this just removes those and it makes everything look a little bit more perfected all right now with that big crease brush that we originally used the first color nothing additional on this brush I'm just going to go over these edges Okay. All right. And then the only thing I will say is that I wish there was like a deep dark brown or like a black in here. I don't really have that. Um, I would like to do like a little bit of an upper liner, but like I said, there's just really, unless I want to use like this blue or this green, there's really nothing for me to do that. So, I think I'm just going to keep it here. All right, I'm going to catch up the other eye off camera, put on some more of my makeup, and then we will come back to finish off this collection. All right, so I did my base makeup. I put on my MAC bronzer. Love MAC bronzers. If you haven't tried any, they are so, so good. Um, I figured we could just stick kind of to MAC today. I also pulled a MAC blush, Peachy Keen, which I will be using. But the next thing I want to go into is this little guy right here. So this is the, it's called a Glow Duo, and it's two highlighters swirled together. So that is what this looks like. And there it is here. So there is that. I think I'm going to try to put this on both of my cheeks. I'm just going to kind of swirl my brush in there. I love MAC highlighters. Out of their whole, like, collection, their whole lineup, their highlighters are probably my favorite. Ah, and, their, and their lipsticks. Those two things, I think they really, really shine. All right, so there is that. Um, I think it's not too dark for my skin. I don't think it's too dark for my skin. It just gives like a nice golden glow. I was worried about it being too dark, but I don't think it's too dark at all. I don't know if I'd put this like on my nose and my cupid's bow, so I'm gonna avoid those areas with this today, but on the cheeks, I think it gives just a, like I said, a really nice golden type of a glow. So I do like that. And those are kind of like cream to powder. Doesn't feel sticky at all. Went on very smoothly. So yeah, that was, that was really cool. All right. Next is this little highlighter trio. And this is the, um, it's their classic extra dimension skin finish highlighting formula. This is three all new shades. So in this palette, you've got a light gold with a pink pearl, a soft gold with a peachy pink uh, pearl, and then a lavender with pearl. All right, so here those are. And I think I'm gonna kind of go into these two today. All 
All right, for under my brow though, for under the brow, I think I'm gonna mix these two. I'm gonna put that here. And that is why I like little trios like this. You can really just kind of mix them however you want. Now going just in with this shade, I'm gonna do on top of the brow, blend that up. And I think I want to dip in here just a little bit more. Okay. So there we go with that. Really like that as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw on my blush. And again, this is Peachy Keen. This is such a pretty, it's got like a sheen to it. Such a pretty blush. And it's more of like their sheer formula. Sheer and like glowy. Their blushes. Oh. And their concealers. Guys, I don't know. I don't know why more people don't talk about MAC, honestly. Now, I'm gonna take my big, just fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything together so everything looks nice and blended. Nothing on this brush. All right, and then we will do the lower lash line. I am going to take just a little smudger brush and I'm gonna go into that dark, brown shade that we used. You know, it's not that dark, is it? And I'm going to get this as close to that lash line as I can. And I'm going to pull it down to kind of like the middle. And the next step, I'm going to go in with my pencil brush. And I'm going to go into that lighter brown shade that we used. And just kind of smoke this out all over. Now, one shade in here that I thought was really pretty is this one. This, like, light yellowish gold type of a shade. And I am going to put that on my inner corner. Just because I think that would be very brightening. So just a little bit. All right, so this is the eyes right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mascara, do my brows, and then we'll come back for the lips. All right, I'm back. I've got on my mascara, did my brows. Now let's go ahead and do the lipstick. All right, so I just pulled the Model Co. Illusion Lip Liner. I'm just gonna outline my lips with that. Not overlining, literally just going on my lip lines, okay? All right, so first off, I'm going to go in with the lipstick. This is in the shade for my next trick, and this is a matte lipstick. And Max Matte Formula feels so smooth. It actually feels very conditioning. Like it doesn't feel like a matte. All right. So there is that. That's a really pretty like pink shade. But now I'm going to go on top of it with this MAC lip gloss. And this is in the shade Frantic Romantic. And it's just got, it almost looks like blue, green, yellow type of reflex in there. I just thought it was a cool shade. So I'm gonna put this on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap this around. Just 
just right on the center. All right, guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope that you learned something out of everything. Honestly, I love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's so just unique. And then I love all the shades that are in here as well. I like how you can completely flip that around and hold this like an actual like artist palette. Um, and I think they have some really, really fun shades in here. I can't wait to go into like these greens. Even like this blue right here is very cool. So I just think that they put an, a good amount of like special shades in this palette. And then of course you have all of your neutrals to kind of tone things down and make a complete eye look. So I do love this palette. As far as the highlighters go, for me personally, so there were two different varieties of this palette, a lighter one and a darker one. Obviously, I got the lighter one. I think that I will get more use out of this little glow duo than this trio here. Um, these shades are fine. They're okay. I definitely would use these two more. Um, but I just, I really like how unique this one is. It is like a new formulation and it's a gorgeous color. So out of the two highlighting options, I would pick the Glow Duo. And then as far as the lip glass and the lipstick go, if you can find a shade that you like, there are, I never have any complaints with the lipsticks or the lip glass. Sometimes these lip glasses can be mm, a little sticky. This one doesn't feel sticky at all. Um, so just FYI, but yeah, um, if you can find a shade that you like, those are always a good option. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.